everyone. Today, we're going to find out about camouflage. I wonder what you already know about camouflage. I wonder why camouflage is important. Can you think of anything you already know about this? Pause the recording to have a think. I wonder if you thought of any of these things. Let's try to help an animal blend in with its environment. You'll need to cut out an animal shape from plain paper. I've cut out a caterpillar, but you can choose any animal, such as a moth, a fish, even a frog. Then you'll need to use coloured pencils, felt tips or paints to help it blend in with an environment. I'm using a gift bag, but you could choose any patterned paper or fabric, perhaps some wrapping paper piece of clothing, or a tissue box. You could cut out an animal shape from plain paper and choose a pattern background. Colour the animal shape to look like the background. Try to match the colours and the patterns as carefully as possible. Once completely coloured in, hide the animal on your pattern background and see if someone can spot it. You could even choose a surface outside and instead of using colours, collect some natural materials like leaves, seeds and twigs and glue them all over your animal. I wonder what you'll choose to use. Camouflage is very important in nature and a lot of animals' lives depend on it. Predators that are not well camouflaged may find it difficult to hunt successfully. Other animals are more likely to be eaten if they could be spotted easily. Camouflage helps animals to thrive and reproduce. Can you help an animal survive? What will you find out about today? I wonder if you thought of any of these questions. Once you've camouflaged your animal, challenge somebody to see if they can find it. How close do they have to get to spot it? How long does it take them to see it? I wonder if you can create an animal so well camouflaged that nobody finds it. Make sure that you share what you discover with somebody, perhaps your friends, your family, or even your teacher. Good luck.